everybody. Now it's time for those hot takes. This is that time to put one minute on the clock and all my guests get one minute bring down all their hot takes on all the latest breaking news. We got like 12 topics here. And I believe in them. I believe in you all in the panel. You can make it happen. If you can't, well, I'm still going to celebrate you. We're still going to celebrate good times. Come on. And we're still a good time because end of the day. <laughs> it comes down to you, the audience. You vote to tell us who wins. Hot takes. Let's go to the panel right now. All right, let's see who goes first on these hot takes. I'm so excited to say what we got. Um, we're talking about Satan, sweet peas, and uh, and falling down into the water under the surface. All right, everybody. Mike, Mike, Mike. Who's going first for these hot takes today? How you feeling? Uh, I'm I'm so intimidated by our panel this evening, Brian. Uh, usually, usually I take the coward's way out and say I will alleviate my own anxiety by going going first and henceforth not you know having to follow and then having you know a shame fest within myself. But today, I'm I'm gonna be brave, which means that the parched papa right underneath is number one and you're always number one in my heart gr so i think you can start Holy us shit, off big Mike, tonight thank you <laughs> hey hey what about the pep star you're not gonna ask me to do hot takes today are you so full no, of shit you peppy <laughs> i would love to hear peppy's hot takes <laughs> uh I don't know if he. I don't know if he actually do it though, right, Mike? Do you think he, he actually does it? Do it? The, he does it on the hundreds, or he, I don't know if we can get him to do it for ten thousand subscribers. But you know, Pepe, yeah, maybe, maybe he's blowing maybe smoke, man. Maybe at 10,000, like he's always kind of an asshole about it. Really, really is. I try all the time to be like, hey, man, you gonna do this? And he'll just like tell me to go fuck myself. We love you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's okay. GR, you ready for some hot takes? Oh, let's just do this. I gotta boost Mike's ego up a bit. I really appreciate boost. it, GR. <laughs> boost that ego up there, GR. Get ready, get salty, get sassy, get sassy, get sophisticated, get all that wow. shit up, down, round, about. As always, are you ready for your hot takes, GR? Let's do it. All right, GR. Let's make some magic happen. Get those drums of drumming. Hot takes in three, two, one. Get it, GR. Hot takes. Dear Santa, only Black Jack could make Satan funny. Days of our lives are 15,000. Well, after being almost as old as me, it's not a, not a shock. Then we back to Adult Swim. That only took 23 years. <laughs> Larry, back for a fourth year. Whoopee! Surface season two. I got to see season one first. Severance podcast. Who cares? Never seen the show. And oh, there. sweet Peter Baby doing on another television show. <laughs> That's Popeye's kid. Kill them all, too. Yeah, we use that nom. Kill them all, let God sort them out. Uh, Outlast, never heard of it, and don't care. The war of name, eh, hey, pass on that, it's not real. And a wicked suit is BS. It's people chasing money. Nothing to do with blaming somebody. Hey, yeah, yeah, kind of is, Jerry, but you know what, GR? Great hot takes! How'd that feel? It feels good. It's out of the way now. I don't have to go after Carter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, yeah. I, I think your mic's still down a little bit, right, Mike? Is his mic down a little yeah, bit? Maybe a little bit. You can give it a little crank your gain a little bit. Crank that shit up, GR, if you can. If you crank it too much, you guys won't be able to hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> Over all that cranking. <laughs> Over all that cranking. GR likes to crank it. Great hot takes here. <laughs> Only on Thursdays, man. <laughs> oh, Thursdays. when he's not on the show, when he's not on the show, it's cranking day. All it's right, Mike, who's, <laughs> who's going next for the hot takes, Mike? Uh, Carter's Canadian flag is just calling to me, man. I, I have so much respect for for that man one, putting his nationality back there. Another. <laughs> All right, we'll send over the Nilic master himself. All right, Carter, how God you feeling save, today about God some hot takes? Right, Grand Nilic to the max. Let's do this, my good man. All right, Carter, I believe in you as always. Let's just do this. Hot takes, Carter, in three, two, one. Hot takes. 
Yes, dear Satan is fun. Let the sinning begin and continue. Days of our lives, 15,000 episodes. I cannot wait for the next 15,000 episodes. Family guys, <laughs> back to adult swim? Absolutely. Please keep on swimming. Bel Air renewed for our final season. Hey, make that final season the best one in one term ever. Lucky, come with Anna Taylor Joy and Reese Witherspoon. Should they get on top of each other? I think they should. <laughs> <laughs> Surface Season 2 date set? Okay, keep that date setting. Let's keep that rocking. Severance podcast coming. Please, we need more podcasts. Podcasts are phenomenal. <laughs> sweet Pea renewed? Keep renewing it, Sweet Pea, because you're sweet and phenomenal. Kill them all too? Hey, kill them all. Kill them all two, three, four, five, and six? Keep them coming. Outcast video game? A movie is coming? Why not something really exciting on Blu-ray? Hey, war on her horror rhythm. I cannot say that correctly, but hey, it looks like a war Lord of the Rings anime. Phenomenal and a Mattel class action lawsuit. No matter what happens, may justice prevail. It's nearly time. Yeah! Great hot takes, Cutter! Wow. Get it, Cutter! <laughs> Great, great, great hot takes with Milk Master himself. Thank you so much. Good to have you here, Carter, as always. That was awesome. Great hot takes. Great hot takes. Thank you so much. Woo. Woo. Mike, who is following up the Milk Master now? You or uh, Trevor? You, that's you you might think it would be me, but it's actually gonna be gonna be Trevor. I'm I'm curious to see how, how prepared he decided like put something up his sleeve tonight. You know, I did it when I started this, but <laughs> now but I've been the gears have been turning since uh yeah, since I've been paying attention to you guys. Good. It's all right. I, I wrote my hot takes while we were going through the, the, the news segment, mm -hmm. so I'm not as prepared as usual tonight. You That's get, a pro you're, you're be fine, Mike. pro move. Oh woo We'll see. We'll see. We'll see, Trevor. He's making Mike feel good right now, aren't you? You're making him feel good. No, I'm still terrified, Brian, but I'm thank glad. you. I, I hope Mike feels great. <laughs> don't sugarcoat his sweet pee. Don't do it. Just don't do it, okay? All right, Trevor. Oh, this, here by, we... the, by the way, this pee I'm drinking right here tastes is, is very sweet, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's called cruise pee. Anyways, Trevor, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> get ready. Get get sassy, sexy, salty, and sophisticated, man. Here we go. It's here hot go. take time. Hot takes in three, two, one. Hot takes. Jack Black, didn't we cancel that guy? After the <laughs> apocalypse, there will be cockroaches, Cher, Keith Richards, and they will still be watching Days of Our Lives. <laughs> Family Guy is an institution at this point, which kind of takes the edge off of it. I'd rather see something new, weird, and experimental on Adult Swim. I think this will give the Fresh Prince reboot the same number of episodes as the first season of the original. Wow. Lucky came out of Ray Reese Witherspoon's book club, and that seems like it could be a fertile ground for lots of unique projects to come. Apple TV Plus seems like the, a vast repository of critically lauded shows that literally nobody has actually watched. Maybe the Severance podcast will help with that. And Stars? I haven't even heard of that streaming service. After Metallica did Unforgiven 2 and Unforgiven 3, I guess Kill Em All 2 was always on the table. Outlast makes sense. We have an incoming Republican government, so prepare for a lot more zombie flicks. More of the human <laughs> thing that I care the most about here, but unfortunately, I played Fortnite all day instead of watching the preview. And I'm glad this Mattel lawsuit is happening. I really hope it sets a precedent regarding companies using generative AI as a way to fuck over and fire creatives. Fuck yeah! Uh, Great hot oh, take, wow. Trevor! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> who's yeah, that, Trevor. Who, who's that? This, this, is, this is Poofy McFluffer, but <laughs> all right. Great, 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 great hot takes, Trevor. How'd that feel? Does that feel good? It did feel pretty good. I'm glad I got that out. <laughs> get it out, get it out, get Slow. it out. <laughs> um, all right. All right, everybody. I don't know what this cat's trying to do here though. <laughs> That's not a squirrel, Peppy. All right, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great hot takes of Brox Rose Board. I'm going to actually put the vote out right now. You tell well, us who you think should win hot takes. You can't. You oh, Mike's not even doing his hot takes. I see. Oh. I see. That's why you <laughs> <wanted> <laughs> I, for, I forgot about Mike already. I forget. I thought Mike already went for some reason. I, I, I may have had some wine already tonight, guys. So sorry, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> maybe, maybe not, GR. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Only a gallon or two, Mike. <laughs> Oh, all right. I'm sorry, Mike. Start, I saw I saw the gallons of like Carlo Rossi wine. They were like twenty two dollars. Like, what the fuck is going on? Those should be four dollars maximum. 
Uh, like what, maybe, what, maybe. What are the what are the children supposed to drink? They don't have uh, any money. Uh, lighter Food fluid. Farm. Lighter strawberry fluid. Yeah. Lighter fluid. Good, yeah. good point. Oh, Strawberry Hill's really great, actually. I used to drink that in high school. <laughs> Booze Farm. Booze Farm? Yeah. Melon Ball was my favorite, I think. Mm. Brian, that was like 25 years ago now. Oh, well, you know what? The greats always last forever, GR. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Okay. All right, Mike. Okay, I'm too much hot takes. It's, it's right. time for Mike to get in there. <laughs> all right, Mike. Feeling frothy, feeling foamy, feeling sophisticated, smart, up top, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. drop it down As onto always. a ball of spaghetti and get that meatball up there and like fucking squeeze it so tight that all the grease comes out and those hot takes ooze through your pores, Mike. Are you ready for these I say hot it takes? every day. That's what I say every day, Brian. Yeah. You know what? If I can't, <laughs> if I can't come up with a, a, with a germane, smart thing to say, at least I can embarrass myself on on our on our format right i figure that's like, like second best to to actually coming up with good content is coming up with stupid content which i can do all you gotta do mike is smile get that twinkle in your eye okay that's it <laughs> all right mike what Let, let's fight right, these hot on, takes bro. let's go let's fuck it let's fucking go hot takes in three two one hot takes this is the bit, uh, Trevor. I'm doing karate during my hot takes. Oh, shit, yes. Dear dear Satan, uh, like, yeah, accidentally you're going to get Satan at your house. Should have should have got Santa. Uh, days of our lives. My mom used to watch that shit. Better vacuum the living room. Uh, family guy, nobody gives a shit. Like, hey, we watch stuff on, on computers now. Uh, Bel Air, it better end with the slappening. I wish I had more more length of my cord here. Uh, lucky, yeah, why, where's the, where's the... Where's the people playing chess? That's what we want from you, Anya. Uh, Surface, nobody knows what you are. Like uh, Trevor said about Apple II. Severance Podcast, yes, the show was good. You get a double chat. Um, Sweet Pea, <laughs> oh, we, no, yeah, again, nobody knows. Kill them all too, like you got bad reviews for the first one. Who gives a shit? Outlast was scary. Uh, maybe it'll be like Silent Hill. Uh, War of Rohirrim, that looks really fucking cool. Uh, Mattel class action, yeah, they just want money. I hate them all. I hate them all, even though I already had chopping. Thanks, Mike. I was chopping. I hate them all. I hate chopping, man. Whew. Oh, I'm out of breath. I am Free just a days, sexy like... boy. <laughs> boy toy. I'm not your boy toy, Brian. I'm not your boy toy just here for your entertainment value. I think the show needs more karate. No, you're not. No, you're not. All right, I'm putting it out there. Uh, Darren Ward, welcome to Cruise Control, too. I see you out here, man. Thank you for being here. All right, I'm putting it out right now, everybody. Putting it out now. Officially, the vote's going down. Tell us who you think should win hot takes. Vote, 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 vote it up. It's on the YouTube channel, if you will. And thank you all for being here. And great hot takes. Again, we had 6,100. I should have given myself more cord, so I would have had more. But I didn't know what was going to happen. Like I said, Trevor, that was Mike. Spontaneous. We always need more cord. We always need more cord. We just do. Yeah. More cord. Yep. Yeah. That's especially especially on a hump day. Uh, again, six thousand one hundred ninety-five subscribers. Thank you, everybody, for being here uh, and, and spreading the love and spreading the joy. Mike, Lord of the Rings. I know I, we're we're talking about for a second. Rahiran, Rahat, Rahanan, Rahiran, Rohirrim. Rohirrim. The, the horse Are you people, super right? stoked? Yeah. Did you see it in theaters? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I was actually really happy to hear that it's coming out soon rather than next week? sometime next, week. next year. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, uh, wait, wait, unfortunately, no, exactly. you know, I'm in nowhere, Michigan, so I'm not going to be able to see it without uh, traveling. Uh, but what's really cool, when I look at the animation style, and it's kind of interesting because the, uh, what, what was the Daft Punk movie that they came out with for discovery it was called like interstellar 10,000 or something interstellar 5555 five, five, five. there you go there you go and they they just released that in the theaters again because it was like what 20, 25 year anniversary maybe i know it was in the theaters for some reason 20th i think yeah 20th yeah um but uh, i was going to go I, but i couldn't get tickets uh, yeah yeah but it, the just the animation style kind of seemed reminiscent of that which you know is all like uh what not not voltron what's what's the one with the the yeah. battleship in battleship yamato yamato yeah yeah is kind of is kind of what it seems um 
based on, but I can only imagine that the production values of this are like, you know, kind of, kind of stellar because they're going to want to draw people in. I'm, ex I am, I am excited. I don't, I don't give a fuck like that. It takes place <laughs> in the future. GR is like, we don't care because the, the Tolkien's not involved. Like I, I get that, but also I just want to be in middle, middle earth. Like I, after the years passed, I was still happy that they made three Hobbit movies, even though not, not one of them was good. <laughs> no. Like I just, they just were being, all right. Just be no, they were now. Fine. They're all right. It was that frame rate that fucked people up. People are getting sick during them too. That also, like the fact that thing. the movies were bad fucked people <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, that, that could be something to do with it, Mike. <laughs> you had Benedict Cumberbatch was like was a dragon, Smog. which was great. Smog, yeah. Smog, yeah. And I like I like uh, Martin Freeman. I think he's great. You know. Oh yeah, but, Martin Freeman was a great choice for young Bilbo. Yeah, but but I think that you're right. Young I think Bilbo? they were trying yeah. to. Young, oh, GR said young dildo. I think he's been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> and anything to get us back into Middle Earth, Brian. I, I'm okay with it. Uh, yeah, I'm all about it, too. I, I, I see that Trevor's brain invests in this, too, Trevor. So do you want to see this as well? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm very excited about this. I, I remember when they announced it. I can't remember now who all was involved, but I know that there are Tolkien scholars, like, from the J.R.R. Tolkien estate that were involved in helping, like, guide the storyline for this. And uh, the animation team does feature a lot of, like, very prominent, like, Japanese anime, like, prolific, like, people. Although, like I said, I, it's been years since I followed up on this. But, like, when they first announced it, it was, like, it was a very exciting group of people to see collaborating, uh, collaborating on this. As well as, like, the producers and the writers from the original Lord of the Rings trilogy. So, um, I think it's going to be good. I have high hopes and high expectations. Um I'm definitely more excited about this than I am about the hunt for Gollum. So, we got at least some of the original cast coming back for that, though, too. You know, that's yeah. actually cool. As long as they get it done before everybody gets too old to do it, you know, that's always a problem, you know? Right. Like, even E. McKellen's like, I might die if you don't get it done soon. He literally <laughs> said that shit. I was like, I mean, it's, it's a true point. He's like 87 years old or 88 years old or something like that. Yeah, so, it like gets that. tougher and tougher. This Mattel thing, though, is driving me nuts a little bit. Carter, you hear about this, right? There's On the back of this box is Wicked.com. If it is AI doing it, it's hilarious that AI fucked that up. Uh, but also, like, can you imagine, like, I don't know if you've gone to the site. But you go to the site, you really can't do it, see anything about, uh, without a credit card. I mean, it shows, like, you know, people kind of being like, oh, ooh, we're skidding, Max. It's, uh, it's after hours. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's a very accurate like. characterization, Brian. <laughs> That's what it feels like. But do you think that a lot of people are going to jump on this class action lawsuit after Mattel? Yeah, I think that some people who are actually invested in the story will take a more of a closer look at it. I think for some people, it's also a head scratcher. Like for those who aren't really familiar with the story, they're like, what? What's with the confusion, <laughs> etc.? You know, because, oh, I thought this was a, a movie about the Wizard of Oz. Oh, there was a website, you know, the adult Wicked website. And then, of course, there's the family friendly wickedmovie.com website. So I think one has to really um, use their own conscience and really, uh, if they have children who are pot who are uh, excited about the Wicked movie, um, they have to really take um, the initiative to actually uh, educate their kids that, hey, this is what Wicked the movie is. And this is what, if you happen to go on this other website, understand this is adult material. This is not for you. And basically take personal responsibility to if their child, ch children, etc., about what the differences are. So that, that I think it's what it has to boil down to. Isn't that what, what a big mess up that is, Carter? Can you even imagine that? Like Wicked. I mean, Wicked.com sounds like an adult website. It just does. It does. You know what I mean? <laughs> it just does. I, it's like, can you imagine? Like, there was when you're making the movie, you would think Mattel would be like, this could be problematic, maybe, maybe a little bit, you know? But how would they not lock down those rights of Wicked.com? You know, but I guess because there's a play before Carter, maybe that's why. It, it, the site was there first. I will oh. definitely second GR on that. No, no, GR is absolutely right. So I think that um, to answer your question, uh, man, it's, it's you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hyde, leave those Barbies alone. <laughs> right? You know, um, you know I, I, I want one has to i know it's very cliche to say this one just has to, to use the common sense within them to understand hey and tell the difference you know that's pretty much what it boils down to 
Yeah. You know, judge, and that's, that's... you know what the judge is going to say, Brian? What's that, Jay? What do you think? Why are you giving your kids your credit card? You should be watching what they're looking at. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's a good point, GR, because you can't really see anything unless you pay, right, on the website? Yeah, so what are the kids? Eighteen. So yeah. do you think it'll be thrown out pretty fast? Because that's a big thing because they're saying they saw everything. They're like, they're like you ever, I don't know if you've ever seen that episode of, um, uh, of uh, it's called uh, not Extras, Extras, where where uh, Patrick Stewart's there and he's talking about like the male woman. And he's like, I've she's walking down. I mean, <laughs> she's walking everything. down the street and, and a hot wind blows her skirt up and she goes, oh, but I saw everything. Do you think they saw everything? They did not, right, GR? They saw squat. Yeah, <laughs> this is just a so everybody said it. In a country. ploy. You're right. It's it's a joke. It's a money yeah. grab. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. If you go on the website, you can see. I just think that a lot of people will try to jump on this, but any court of law you see, is, I'm 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 really fascinated to see what happens with this again because you really can't see anything unless you fucking put your digits in there, and then you're like, oh yeah, that's what the fuck wicked going on all day. You know but like really that's kids aren't doing that. Ryan? What's that? It happened in South Carolina, not California. I know, right? Right, but I hear that there's something happening in California. There's people in California coming forward, too. Of course they're going to fly so, in California. They sue for everything here. Well, we, I mean, that's that, that's that's America. We all sue now. That's what it is. Oh, I got a splinter. I'm suing you for that chair that I bought 20 years ago that it has a splinter now that messed my finger up and I can't write for today. If you, if you, you got know? money, hell yeah, I'm going to sue you for that splinter. <laughs> You know what they say, if you don't sue, then shame on you. <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> I, from I, don't know. I love that. They say that, Mike. Yeah. They say that. <laughs> the big day. The big day. Jimmy, Jimmy Jr. What's, who owns a pizza place yeah, across the street? Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna there take you go. the I'm gonna take the opposite position of everybody else, and I'm gonna say that the lawsuit does have merit. I don't even care if it is a cash grab. Like I'm basically never on the side of the large corporations, and they fucked up. They did fuck up. So I it's possible that I'm wrong about the generative AI thing. I might be either misremembering or it's possible that the early like reports were wrong because somebody just like made guesses or said some shit online or whatever. Who but, gives uh, a shit? Do do your do, take, regardless man. Regardless <laughs> of whether it's generative AI, the company did make a huge mess up here. They did make a huge error and put an adult website on a kid's product. And I don't feel like they should be allowed to get away with that. Like as far as whether anybody deserves compensatory damages for that, I don't know. But I do feel like the company should suffer some consequences regardless. Uh, you know, it's good. I think they're going to, too. I think they will, Trevor. I think they were trying to, like, brush us under the rug. Like, oh, well, we'll just give you uh, a new one and just throw that out and ignore that box. But <laughs> we'll like, give you a lifetime membership like... to Wicked.com. Don't worry about <laughs> yeah. it. For you and your kids. Yeah. One thing's yeah. for sure. You know, those boxes are going to be huge collector's items now. <laughs> You know what's funny is point. Jonathan who was on the show. Jonathan actually got an eBay and bought some and stuff. So he got them. I thought maybe it was like even Target. He got them. So he had them on when we were talking about it a couple weeks ago. And I was like, Jonathan, you got those? Like, yeah, these are worth money, man. Which is probably true. It's probably true. So he's, he's uh, going to watch out for those when they do the Wicked reboot in twenty years. Yeah, I know, right? Watch out for that. <laughs> or even Wicked Two. Well, you know what would be worse if the next movie they do the same thing again for the second part. It <laughs> yeah. could happen. Shoot on principle. <laughs> Maybe you got to register. Uh, I'm, I'm registering wicked2.com right now. You you better you better do it, man, and put some I porn stuff up Mike, there. Mike, come on, <laughs> wicked <laughs> um, But you know what's wicked? We have a winner of hot takes today, everybody. We do have a winner of hot takes. <laughs> what did it take to win hot takes tonight? What did it take at the end of the day to make yourself the hot take master for this hump day edition of Cruise Control? We're going to find out very quick because our winner of hot takes for this hump day edition of Cruise Control is... Bitch got lungs. She goes himself, Mr. Mike Casey. Congratulations. Great, great, great hot uh, takes. I told you. I told you. It's the karate. <laughs> I <laughs> really the hot takes were good. I think the karate was. The karate wasn't good either anyway. But, but this does teach me something, Brian. Thank you. 
thank you everyone in the chat. I don't I don't deserve the love, but I appreciate it. That's what I told my mom the day I was born. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You, uh, like you know this what this has taught me something brian it's taught me that when i'm feeling small and afraid i shouldn't question myself i should just start throwing hands and chopping karate all the time like <laughs> and that presumably it led to a it led to a victory tonight so i can only assume that that will hold for the other areas of my life so i thank Remember you in the chat when you assume mike I chop your ass, GR. <laughs> Apparently, like physical activity, Mike, will actually get you the win. I think. Yeah, it will, I wish so. I, I wish I I wish I actually set up so I would be able to. I had a longer cord, like if I had been thinking for longer, but then it wouldn't have been organic, Brian. Well, a longer and, cord, a wider <laughs> lens, more cinematic <laughs> lighting. Trevor's always like longer, wider. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. <laughs> Next week, we're make a minute and a half for hot takes because I want more karate. <laughs> we should we should just consider changing the form. You want it longer, wider. A physical activity along with the hot oh, takes oh, has Jesus. to happen. And, I, and my mom Bad shows up right maybe. now at this moment. Huh. <laughs> I was chopping. I don't know if you saw my. I was doing karate chops for the uh, <laughs> for the I hot don't takes think your tonight. Mom, mom wanted to know what you were doing. <laughs> Yep. It was fun. Great hot takes, Mike. Great hot takes across thanks, the board, thanks, everybody. Chad. Great hot takes. And Mike, maybe uh, uh, maybe you're the goat. Maybe you're the goat right now in hot takes. Maybe you found the thing that breached through. People be talking about this for years to come about your hot takes. Yo, player, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we are live. And if you are able to join our Patreon, please join. Because the pep star needs more snickety snacks. Because I'm... Hungry. Holla back. Love y'all.